Mr. Mangles, I think we'll find a way to reverse the flow of the pneumatic tube and get him out of there. This suspicious password has three parts? Towels need folding in reception. Get on it. 
time once again to work your detective magic.
discard. Right there. That's where the next bomb must be. Shoot! Fire in the hole! were out of commission. Ick! This bomb's loaded with rotten eggs! I wonder what was printed. It looks like someone is using a special kind of ink and paper in this printer.
someone has smeared their finger on the inside of this door. I need to steam it up to see what it says. That air pressure change sent a bunch of papers flying. I'd better collect them. Someone may have been trying to destroy evidence in here. That's too high up. I need to figure out a way to get it down. It looks like I have all those pieces of paper. They're blank. How do I get the ink to show up? Apparently, Joanna doesn't thrive in this environment. Could she be the bomber? Oh shoot, someone's coming. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. 
I uh, just wanted to talk some more. In fact, why don't you tell me about your brother? You said he was some kind of... You said he was some kind of writer? My brother Elwood? He's a darn good one. That's what kind of writer he is. Writes everything. Poems, stories, books, even movies. And that goofy haiku stuff. He's real good at that. Is he the one who wrote that book you have called... Did he write the book called Midbreak at Waverly? No. He's never been published. But last year, he came real close to selling a movie. Real close. But this one person ended up saying no, and that was that. Broke poor Elwood's heart. And seeing him all crushed like that broke mine. Long as you're here, come on. I'll give you a tour. The person who owned this place before the Redondo bought it built this big, elaborate underground bomb shelter. It's pretty cool. Uh, no, that's okay. I... Nancy, you down there? Uh, yes, Mr. Blesky. Joanna and I were just having a nice little chat. Well, care to guess who's now blowing little blue bubbles in the reception area? Guess the tour is gonna have to wait. See you later. Oh boy, he got himself stuck in a safe? I better figure out how to open this. Mr. Mingles, there you are! What a naughty, naughty boy you've been! Please, Mrs. Montague, from now on, keep him tied up or something, okay? I'll do no such thing! Especially since his odd behavior and all the other bizarre symptoms he now exhibits are your fault! You're so angry about his botched... You're so angry about his botched spinal manipulation, I can't help but wonder how far you'll go to get even. Well, it is my hope that she goes as far as she can. Mr. Bleski and the people he works for are interested only in money. Not fairness, not compassion, not justice, just money. Hey, look, no one forced you to work here. You don't like your contract, you shouldn't have signed it. So just quit whining. And quit begging every guest that walks through the door for money to finance that idiotic pipe dream store of yours. So you're aware that Helfton... So you know he's been discussing funding with Mrs. Montague? Of course, Joanna told me. That Joanna? The janitor? Is she your new BFF or something? I could tell him what you've been doing. Of course, that would mean your job, wouldn't it? You mean it's against the rules for staff members to... You mean it's against the rules for staff members to date guests? You bet it is. 
You didn't tell me we were breaking the rules. Oops. You? You're the one who's been fraternizing with the help? <coughs> yes, sweet thing. Mummy is appalled too. I guess we know whose films we'll never watch again. No, wait. You don't understand. I... I was... preparing for a role. It was all an act. Uh, excuse me? I was just... seeing what a relationship with a lowly receptionist would feel like. I'm an actor. It was all... research. So let's just keep this quiet, okay? There's no reason for anyone to suffer just because some nosy loser couldn't keep her big fat mouth shut. If this throws a wrench in your career, good! You'll be getting just what you deserve. How can you say that? What did I ever do to you? It's not what you did to her. It's what you did to... Joanna's angry about what you did to her brother. Her brother? My brother Elwood wrote the best movie script ever. Only they never made a movie out of it because you turned it down. And then, when he tried to get you to tell him what was wrong with it so he could fix it, you ignored his calls. All 89 of them. I will not be ignored. Oh my gosh, you're the one who's been leaving me those notes. Who cares about the notes? She's probably the one who's been planting those bombs. Bombs? Did he say bombs? <laughs> Don't worry, Sweet Pea. That was the last straw. We are leaving and never setting foot in this dreadful place again. By forcing me to work in the vicinity of someone as deranged as that janitor, you have failed to provide me with a safe work environment. And that is a breach of my contract. <laughs> Which means I, as they say, am out of here. <laughs> yes. Is your brother looking around here, too? Is he the one who's been planting the bombs? I can't believe this is happening to me. To my screwball sister, yes, but to me? I need to call my agent. Open your eyes, Dunderhead. Can't you see how preoccupied with publicity your supposed girlfriend is? She's the one making stuff go boom around here. Wise up. Well, now that people seem to be all done slinging mud at me, I think I'll go take a bath in some. Four words. Find the bomber. That's only three. Now! Hey, my bomb detector's going off. This black powder must... And that means this emergency shelter is my next destination. It looks like there are three entryways. I think entering from the garden is the safest bet.